these girls, and that is that they work for two things and two things only. First one's gonna come from me. You guys know what that is? Fish, food, that's right. Second one's noise. That's gonna come from you guys. So if you guys see them do something you guys like, I want you guys to clap your hands, scream really loud, make a lot of noise. Show what we like, ladies. There we go, very nice. I'm gonna start off by introducing these girls to you. Right here, we have our beautiful South American girl, Kimmy. Kimmy, you having a good day? You are. You wanna say hello to everybody? Oh, a nice big sea lion hello. Thank you, Kimmy. And over here, we have our baby Sierra. Sierra, can you wave to everybody? Very nice, good job, sir. And last but not least, we have our spoiled, rotten Rosie. Can I have a hug, Rose? Thank you, Rose. Now, yeah, Rose comes to our family with a rather sad story. You see, Rose here, she was a beach stranded sea lion. What that means is she was no longer able to take care of herself, or she may have become a victim of pollution. Speaking of pollution, can you think about pollution for everybody here? Do you like it? No, that's right. Nobody does. However, sea lions all across the world, they do come into contact with pollution. Things that we leave behind. Soda bottles, plastic bags, things like that. These girls love to play with them. However, sometimes they make a huge mistake and they eat it. Rose, what would happen to you if you accidentally ate that plastic bottle? Oh no. Poor Rose. And look, her friends are so sad. But don't worry, she's perfectly fine. Our girls are super intelligent, and they know exactly what to do if they find pollution in their water. Come on out, Sarah. Show everybody, where's that bottle going when you're done with it? What are you doing with it? That's right, right in the recycling bin. Good job, Sarah. All right, buddy, so I don't know how we're ever going to top a recycling sea lion. You know what, Jimmy? I have a better idea for today. Better than recycling? Yeah! All right, let's hear it. Magic! Magic? Yeah! You guys like magic? All right, well, you're in luck. We have Rose here, and Rose can make one entire fish disappear right before your very eyes. You guys ready for this one? Hold it here, Rose. Ready? Here we go. Abracadabra! Rose, where'd that fish go? Gone. Good job, Rose. Now, Kimmy over here has a magic trick as well. She can make her whole head disappear. Would you guys like to see it? Yeah. All right, everybody, help me count it down. Ready? Here we go, Kimbo. One, two. Everybody has to help me. Come on, like you mean it. Ready? One, two, three. Gone. You guys over there, pretend you're up front. Good job, Kimbo. All right, enough of the magic tricks. When you guys came to see a sea lion show, you expect to see them balance a ball on their nose, right? Yeah. Right? Rose, show everybody how you can bounce this big ball. You ready, Rose? Come on. Come on, guys. Shoot on. She can hear you. A lot louder. She can hear you, guys. You got it, Rose. All the way in there. Come on, Rose. You guys think that was good? Wait till you see what you can do with the basketball. Come on out here, Rose. Come on up here. Show everybody what you can do with the basketball. Come on. Come on, guys. Shoot on. That's not easy for it. Keep it going, guys. You got it, Rose. Show them what else you can do, Rose. Awesome job, Rose. Good job. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, Jimmy. That was not awesome. What do you mean it wasn't awesome? Let's see you do it. No, I can't do that, babe. Rose, you was cheating the whole time. She was cheating. Yeah, yeah she was cheating. You guys see her cheating? Cheat? Well, you know what? Ask Kimmy. She was watching the whole time. All right, Kimmy, she cheat? Yeah. How? I don't get it. Look, put the ball here. No, I'm going to show you. Okay. Right there. Look, she's cheating. She's trying. She's not cheating. No, no, no. Do it one more time. Look, she's using her whiskers. Of course, she's 
she's using her whiskers. Whiskers are very important for sea lions. That's the way they greet each other. Also how they find their fish in the dark and murky waters. In my favorite part, that's how I get my fishy kisses. Can I have a kiss, Rose? Thank you, Rose. Oh, can I have a kiss? Now, right now, I'm in the middle of the show. Oh, not from you, from Kimmy. Oh, uh, maybe Kimmy will give a kiss. Kim, can you have a kiss? Nope. No. Can you blow her a kiss? What? Kimmy. That's not nice. Kim, she's blow her a kiss. She's taking her tongue out. Kimmy. Oh. That's not nice. You need to apologize. Tell her you're sorry and you're not going to stick your tongue out at her anymore. You're going to embarrass Sierra. Uh-uh. She's not saying Tell her you're sorry. No. No. That's how she says she's sorry. She still has her tongue out. Are you still sticking your tongue out? Yeah. Alright, let's change the subject. Let's play one of their favorite games. They love playing the ring toss. They're really good at it. Yeah, Jimmy, but you know what? Before you get those rings, can you clean up your fingers? Yeah, let me get them really fishy I for you. I spent all morning cleaning those rings. I didn't see you cleaning anything. Yes. I think you're fibbing. Good enough? Oh, uh, good. Perfect. You get the towel, I get the rings. I'm going to get the towel. Sarah's uh, going to help you. Thank you, Sarah. Right here. You're a good helper. You flip here? Uh, I'll clean you up. All right, I'll clean. Uh, do it again. All right, they're spotless here. Um, the other one? Who's training who? All right, now back on your seat, please. You are no, <laughs> come on. I'm not cleaning that in. <laughs> nice try. All right, like I was saying, these girls are great at catching rings. They're terrible at counting them. I need everybody's help in counting along. Ready? Here we go. Close. <laughs> Seals. Oh, you're right. That does make her really mad. Kimmy, are you a seal? She don't care, right?